Hi there, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to change a heater element in a heater assembly. So the heater assembly usually lives under the circuit board box, which is on top. Um, it's sitting on top of the heater tube and the heater is then connected to the circuit board uh, in the box. So what we're going to do today, uh, we took it apart just to give you a better look at what it is and to give you the, the few tips to help you change the element easily in your hot tub. The first thing you're going to want to do when doing anything in here, first and foremost, you're playing with uh, a lot of electricities up to 240 volts. Um, so either have an electrician friend or uh, an electrician help you with this job. But if you're a bit of a DIYer, the number one thing you want to do is turn off the power at the GFI or even at the main panel um, at the uh, in the home. So once that's done, if the hot tub is still full of water, a lot of the hot tubs, and most do, have gate valves, ball valves, knife valves, uh, before and after the heater assembly. Um, hopefully you don't have to drain your whole hot tub to do this, but in order to do this with the hot tub full, you got to close uh, either sides of the heater assembly, otherwise you'll just get a bunch of water everywhere trying to fix this, the, to change the element. Uh, and the second thing is once the knife valves are closed, and the power's off obviously, you then crack open one of the sides to drain the water that was left behind uh, in the tube um, after you've closed the knife valves. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you this here. The circuit board box is usually on top, and then you have the two rods for the elements coming out. Your configuration might look different. These are the temp sensors. This is how the hot tub gauges the water temperature and flow and give you the air codes should there be anything wrong with the flow or the board uh, or the sensors. So ultimately, if you're changing the element, right? This one has the sensors that's in the way. So when it's in the hot tub, you might have to decide which side the element is easiest to come in or out. All hot tubs are different. But if it is anything like this one where you have a sensor on the one side, you want to make sure that you remove that sensor because the sensor will be in the way when you try to pull out the element. Once the tube is drained and you remove the sensor to have a better, a better path of exit and entryway for the new element, it's important to note that you need to not only obviously loosen the, the nut at the top, you need to make sure that when you put your, your new element in, you have to hold on to the little stud underneath. And the elements should have a bit of a nut there that you could hold on to. I use needle nose, works great for me. You can grab yourself a tool that works for you, but it's important to hold on to that because as you're tightening this, the top nut, and your element, you're not protecting it from twisting it. You're thinking you're tightening the nut, but in reality, you might be twisting the stem. Right, breaking the filament inside the element, ruining your brand new element. So remember to hold on to that little stud at the bottom. When you're putting the new element into the tube, I like to use needle nose to grab the element and help push past because as you can see, there's a bit of a flat part on the tube here. So you do have to do a bit of a push and pulling, but not too much. You don't want to harm the, uh, the new leads uh, just to get the two leads to come out. But because of this flat part of the tube, sometimes it's a little harder to get the new element in there. But the, the use of a needle nose pliers is best. Once the new element is in, you tighten up the nuts nice and snug. There is a seal between the element and the heater tube. And so you tightening those brass nuts is important, very tight. And then uh, remember to grab a little stud nut on the element as you're tightening your nuts at the top. Okay, once that's done, remember to put your sensor in, the one that you've removed, if you had to remove one to take it out. And then you want to purge as much air out of the heater tube as possible to prevent any air locks when you start up your hot tub, because now you just emptied everything. It's only air that can cause error codes. So the best thing you can do, obviously, you know, tighten everything up, make sure your gaskets are in there. Everything is nice and tight on your on your sensors. Your element is in properly. What I recommend to do is opening up one of the sides of knife valves and actually not tightening up this completely. 
So leaving it open so then all the water would push the air out of the tube. You know, get, having some water come out quite a bit. I would say leave it open for a good five seconds to really make sure there's no more air in your heater tube. And then locking this in, or not locking, but tightening it up uh, properly. Plug your element back into the circuit board. In this case, it's just a plug. Uh, some of them, they're copper leads. Just pay attention to those. Make sure you protect the, uh, the, the, the studs or anything like that if you're having to tighten anything by hand or with the tool. Um, and that's it. That is how you, uh, this one, because it was removed from the box, I would re-secure it to the box with these two nuts on top and the bottom. Uh, there should be brackets in the box to hold them. And that is how um, you change with it, some tips and tricks how to change an element in your heater assembly.